All right, guys, it's, uh, oh, I think it's April 10th, right? Um, and it's 80 degrees out, guys. In New York, we're having a heat wave. And uh, I think I'm definitely going to find some snakes today. I've even, I've got shorts on, t-shirt, and I'm pretty excited. So we're here at this old uh, Farmstead Foundation. Look like a good spot for snakes, right? Well, it is. Um, I'm hoping to find Big Mama, a garter snake who I found the last two years in a row. Big female garter snake with a stubby tail. So, uh, let's see what we can find. And there we go. No sooner than I get out of the car and I walk out here. I mean, you can even still see my car. We got snakes, guys. Just on the ground. They're breeding season. They're on the move. That one's broken it pretty good. Right there. 80 degrees, you know. What's going to slow them down? I think I saw one going underneath this bark. Yep, there it is. Look at that. Yeah, so there's going to be a lot of Eastern Garters out here today, guys. Uh, I'm not going to film every one of them, but, uh, you know, a few. And hopefully uh, the Big Mama. This is the rock that I last saw Big Mama under. She was under here last April. You can go back and look at the video. Uh, let's see if she's there again. She is not, but that's not a bad size. That's not a bad size. Far cry from Big Mama, but... have to move you friend so that I don't crush you. Alright, let's check on this rock. She's not under there either. She's gonna make us work if we wanna find her. From under that rock. I think this even though it's pretty rocky around here, I think this big tree base of this big tree is where they're hibernating and where they're going to be emerging in the spring. Um, this seems to be where I find the most snakes early in the year. And then they kind of disperse out from here. Walked into my second spot, and already we have snakes. Two of them, actually. Garter snakes. And you guys all know this spot. I've been here before many times. Um, but it's a great spot, you know. What are you going to do? Um, and especially these garter snakes. I mean, the first time I discovered this spot, I was just walking around the woods, and uh, garter snakes were just absolutely everywhere. And it was only later on that I started finding other species, too. But, uh, yeah, this is a hot spot for garter snakes. And if you know anything about garter snakes, you'll know that they breed in mass. So, uh, this time of year, if you find one, chances are there's going to be a handful of them nearby. Like these two fine fellows. Who I did not even have to flip. But I am going to do some flipping. And hope that we find something else. We'll start with this rock here. Okay. And yeah, right off the bat. Little red belly snake. I mean, this is the kind of place, guys, where you have to 
every rock is going to have a snake if you're here on the right time of year and uh, you have to watch where you step here's one flip here and look at this tiny red belly oh my goodness adorable you know I don't always find the largest snakes but I swear I find some of the smallest look at this tiny little snake Red belly. My goodness. Whoa, look at that flip. Look at all those snakes. And those aren't the ones, those are just the ones that decided to stay under the rock. Not the ones that took off like that guy. Wow, this really is a cool place to herp. I love it here. Most of them are garter snakes. I did see a brown snake. Now I gotta make sure I move all these guys before I put the rock back down. Very cool. Strong little ant. It's got a millipede. There it is, guys. This is what we came here to see. Well, I mean snakes in general, but oh, a smooth green. Let me get my bearings here. I knew we'd find one of these guys. Love these. One of the most beautiful snakes in New York. One of the primary reasons I won't give out the location of this spot. These guys are kind of hard to find. I've, you know, talking to other herpers. That's what I've come to find out, and uh, this is the only place I've ever seen them, so this spot is my secret. Look at that. Oh. This is pretty much the best time of year to find these guys is in the spring. Um, once everything starts growing in and they disperse from their hibernaculums, they uh, become increasingly difficult to find. I mean, I'm, just look at that. That would blend in with the, uh, with the foliage. But out here, on a day like today, they stand out. Oh yes, they do. Yes, they do. I was just about to give up. I didn't think I was going to find one today. It's such a gentle little snake. These guys, I've never been bit by one. I'm always able to just pick them right up. They don't musk on me. Uh, they're out here eating insects. And uh, soft-bodied invertebrates. And they're just so beautiful. They don't get very big either. About two feet is how big they get. This isn't the biggest one I've seen, but it's not a bad size. Look at him swaying his head back and forth. Trying to look like a leaf, no doubt. A little too late for that, buddy. Alright, I got I definitely have snapped some pictures of him before I go. But that's uh that's a good way to wrap up the, the herping. Look at that beauty. He's almost like a got like chocolate brown spots like a reddish brown <coughs> Whew, excuse me but the contrast between his yellow stripes there and the dark stripes it's beautiful these garter snakes come in so many paint jobs they 
it, it never gets boring to find them, I think. Look at that. That's beautiful. Go make more that look just like you. He's so single-minded. He's just looking for a mate.